welcome back to our 100% playthrough of Quake on the PlayStation 5 Kex Quake port. In today's episode, we are tackling the Ogre Citadel E2M2 with 48 monsters, 3 secrets. This map is very indicative of Gloom Keep from Episode 1, so let's get started and set the save. Go ahead and funnel all the knights into a tunnel here. Got plenty of room to back up, so there's no reason they should ever be able to get close enough to hit you. Just be careful with the one in the shadows over there. There we go. And just like that, let's go ahead and get ammo. Go ahead and get armor. And let's hit one of the switches and try to pick up me before you can get across. If not, we know what to do. Just keep backing up. Fiends have a hard time with stairs. Go ahead and peg out the ogre as well. Now, let's hit the air switch to make our way across. Ammo. Careful down this corridor as it's a spike trap. Just stay to the right. Across, get the double girl shotgun and take out all the knights over here. Replenish health, keep the pressure up. Especially the ogre that's on the ledge there. And his knight counterpart. So now, let's go ahead and get the health, get the ammo down here, take out the ogre close range, before you even know what happened, get his backpack, ammo, next ogre, and knife. Again, take him out close range, with the super shotgun. Watch out for the ogre that popped in behind us. And let's go ahead and keep going. Save. Working our way up. About top here, go ahead and take out the knights in close range. All three of them. Now hitting the switch actually raises the platform uh, that's in the water there. Let's go ahead and take advantage of the feet not being able to attack us. As well as the ogre. Just less we have to deal with later. And save. Next up. Back to double barrel shotgun. And here we get the nail gun as well as quad damage and let's abuse it. <laughs> Jump across, hit the switch, down here, take out the shambler, hit the switch to escape, get the key, nails, let's do some cleanup work back here. Okay, and just like that, we have 31 kills, no secrets yet. That's about to change. Save it. Alright, so 31 kills, no secrets yet. Let's continue on and go through the gold door. The um, fiend is laid out now. Go ahead, head across, take out the knight, and over. Get the health and let's drop in the pit to take out meat. We much prefer when he tries to melee us, since it does much less damage. And let's get back out of here. Take the lift up. And let's jump over in the pit to the left. Around the zombie we don't care about. 
keep going through the water. And over here, let's go ahead and take the over and nights out. Okay. Now, if we go all the way in the back corner and around, this is uh, the secret number one with the grenade launcher. We can go ahead and hop out of here. Climb up to the other side to get armor. This is secret number two with 100 health. Teleport. And now let's go back to the beginning of the map for the final secret. So just weave our way back around. And here's the beginning of the map. Let's jump in the pit. Careful of the feet. As well as the zombie that we want to make sure goes to pieces. Just like that. Take the lift up, and this is secret number three. Another hundred health. That's why we weren't too worried about the fiend smacking ass. So let's go ahead and make our way back to the gold key area. Now that we have all secrets done. Hoppy, hoppy, hop. And here we are back again. So at this point, getting myself lost here. Okay, gold key door, let's jump across. And now the platforming section. So let's detonate all the zombies in this area. We already cleared out the pit. Launch them way back there. And let's go ahead, hop across. Get knocked off by the ogre. Thanks a lot, buddy. Take the lift back up. And let's go again. Looks like we have uh, ogre versus zombies over there. Perfectly fine for us, because now we can pin them all together. Take them all out once. Just like that, we are missing one kill. So where's he at? Well, he's gonna be over here. Let's go again, back in the pit. Back to the top. And this time, that raising platform that got us here, go to the left of it, and there'll be a zombie hiding in the corner. Boom. At that point, you've got all kills, all secrets. This map is done. When you look at our weapon wheel, they basically give us every weapon up to this point, except for the rocket launcher. So, you are extremely well equipped in this map. And it's basically got all the same enemies as Hell Keep, or Gloom Keep. Uh, except, they also give you, um, zombies. So, more enemy variety. Uh, even got little platforming sections. This map is an amazing little map. Like you see, it only takes you about 7-8 minutes to get through it. Again, if you can platform much better than I can, because PlayStation and me do not platform. So, you can easily have it done 5-7 minutes. But it's a really fun jungle gem of a map. Um, not too difficult. But they do not make it easy either. I've taken quite a few deaths getting through this. So. Definitely my favorite of episode 2 so far. Uh, eagerly looking forward to what map 3 has to bring. So. We'll get to that one next week. Till then. Take care everyone. And we'll see you next time.